Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. How you doing today? Hey, today we're going to have another Windows 8 tip. And the Windows 8 tip is about the start menu, Windows new start menu with the tiles on it here. This is where we come in, we organize our programs and our apps that we like to use the most. Not all of them have to live on this front page, but since we see this front page so much, we really need to organize it and start using it the way that it was intended. And there is a method to all this madness, so just hang out with me and we'll get started on talking about organizing your desktop for a Windows 8 machine coming up. Okay, so here we are at my start menu of my Windows 8 machine. And the first thing I would like to show you on my start menu that we can change are the grouping. A group is shown because there's space in between. So this would be a group, this is a group, and save is a group. So save apps and programs. Now your groups might not be named, but that's no problem. I can show you that in a minute. I want to first show you how you can move these icons back and forth between the different categories. Okay, so if I pick up this maps, I can just drag it over to here and drop it. I can also drag it to the very, very end and actually create another category, if you will. And then I could start one here. If you want to change the size or the tile type, you can right click on the actual tile. So like on this maps tile, I can right click on it and I can unpin it from the start menu or I can uninstall it all together is what I can do with this particular one. Now it depends on which one you pick as to what you could do with it. Now these newer ones have more features. If I were to right click on this Bing one here, you see there are more options for me to uninstall. I can unpin. I can make it smaller or I can turn the live tile off. And first we'll make it smaller. We we'll just click that and you can see it. It just makes it smaller. I can still move it around. I'm going to right click that again. And I can turn off, let me make it larger first. And I can also turn off the live tile. And if you've been noticing, this has been moving or changing. I can actually turn that off here. And let me do it with the, the uh, travel button so you can see it again. I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to turn the live tile on. Okay, I'm going to click off it. You can see this is now changing. Now, not all the tiles are able to be done this way some of them you can't make smaller and some of them don't have a live function it just depends on which application they are and you're just gonna have to right click them to find that out okay there is a little minus sign here on the bottom right that I want to bring your attention to for just a moment and if you click on that little minus sign there it makes all these icon groups smaller and from there you can use your right hand mouse button, click on the group, click on this button to name the group and change the name or give it a name. And you can see where I just changed the name of this group. Or you could just click on it, name the group and leave it blank. And it will just do that. And you can also move the groups around within this window. I can move these Anyway, I want them. It's like that. Yeah. And if you want to move individual tiles, um, it's best to hit the escape key, go back out, and then manually move it like that. Now, I'm going to um, show you how to add something that's not on the start menu. It's pretty easy to do. You just find a blank spot here on the desktop and use your right hand mouse button click it and a button will come up that says all apps here if you click on the all apps button it'll show you everything that's installed on your computer and then you can pick like say I wanted this sound recorder this one here to be on my desktop I can just click on it with my right hand mouse button and I can pin it to the start menu here okay 
and you can see some of the other things I can do too. I can open it different ways. But right now I just want to go ahead and pin it to the start menu, the sound recorder. Okay, let's go back to our start menu and it should be at the end and there it is right there. So it has added the sound recorder to our start menu and I just placed it in this group here. So that is it for the organization of the start menu of Windows 8. It's something you just have to dig into and start playing with and then organizing these tiles and organizing the groups at the same time so you get it to look the way you want it. Maybe you could make one for applications and one for printer utilities and one for business, that sort of thing. You can make it just like folders if you wanted to. There's a ton of ways you could do it. It's all open to the way you want it. So anyway, if you have any suggestions for future Windows 8 tutorial quick tips, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.